Hey guys, welcome back to the Storkville YouTube channel. For this video, we're going to take a look at this little kin cam endoscope inspection camera dealy bob that I picked up on Amazon. They have been doing a lot of promo codes for this item. This is the wired version. I also have the wireless version, so eventually we'll look at both of them. But first, we're looking at the wired version. I'll put a link to my website down below. That way, if there are any promo codes, I will keep that page up to date um, if that possibility is out there. So when you get it, it's going to come in a plain brown box like that. It comes with this little business card with customer support. It comes with a manual that shows you mostly how to use the program. It can be used uh, on a PC, Mac, or Android device. So we're going to check out all of those and I'll show you the picture quality. It comes with three little tools that can go on it. Did I lose one piece already? Nope, still on there. Okay. It comes with three little tools. There's a hook. There's the world's smallest mirror. And there's a magnet. And the magnet works. So those can slide on the end. We'll show you that in a second. It also comes with a little CD for installing the software for the camera on your computer. When you plug it in, it's just a USB port. It'll treat it like any uh, webcam that you would plug in. So if you already have a program or something that can turn on a webcam, you don't really need their program. There's also an app you have to install to use it on your Android, and we'll look at that in a second. I can't tell you right now because I'm recording on my phone, so I can't look it up. But this is 16 and a half feet. The camera is a two megapixel camera, which it's not a great camera, but look at the size of it and everything. It like, uh, again, I'm recording on my phone, so I can't show you. My Galaxy S8, it's a 12 megapixel camera, but it's an expensive cell phone, so... Um, but we're gonna look at the picture quality to give you an idea. There's also some LED lights in here so you can shine it on whatever you're looking at and you got a little wheel. If you can see that, come on, right there. You can control the brightness of the light. And um, let's open this thing up real quick. You can see kind of it's a semi-rigid deal going on here. So you can see that little piece that's falling back and forth is how you connect the accessor accessories. So if I wanted my little hook, I believe this is how you do it. There's uh, that thing right there. And this thing has a groove in it. Let's see if you can see it. Okay. Where's that groove at? Stella's got to get her groove back. See the groove on the top there? So the little wire for the tool slides in through there. But the tool's got a hook on the end. So I'm pretty sure that hook is so it grabs the back half of this thing. I could be completely wrong, but we're just flying by the seat of our pants right now. Trying to ow, stab ourselves in the finger with it. Boom! Got me a little hooky. I'm hooking. So then the other end, which is actually really neat, I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's a USB. You can slide it down, and there it's a micro USB. Or, whoops, keep that down, plug that in. Whatever it goes the other way. Plug that in, and now it's a USB C. So it's kind of a cool little triple adapter thing. I would be a little worried about this hinged piece when you're using the USB C. It's how easy is it just to bump that and snap it off? Be very careful. So, let's try it on the computer first, and then we'll come back with the phone and, you know, we'll give it a test. Well, here's the camera just plugged into the computer, and you're looking at where I sit and make videos all the time. You see the phone's still sitting there on the tripod. It's kind of blurry. This thing's better for close-up. You can see when you hear my dogs barking or yelling, they come from that bed with a blanket on it right there. A light up there so not awful but it's really meant for up close it's not meant for a distance that's eight ten feet away so let me show you up close so here you can see I'm just zoomed in on the front of my Dymo label printer and you can read that perfectly fine you can see pretty well my table little digital converter box I'll show you when we controlled the 
light on it. You can see the LED lights built into it kind of wash out the color. The color came a little bit better. Now let's stick this thing in a hole and uh, see how it looks. So you can see how much the LED light kind of washes out the screen. You can see all the little the little circles or bubbles for where the LED is. And I just have you guys in a hole through my wall where the Ethernet cable goes. And you can see we're going right to the back of uh, my entertainment center. It's the uh, DVR cable. There's the Ethernet cable going to it. Another power cable for some reason. So you can definitely see what you're doing. Hang on, I'm getting flipped upside down now. You can see the wires I followed. 2x4, I think. This 2x4 right there. But now let me show you when I turn those lights down or turn them off. So now the light's just barely on, and it's not enough to do anything. You know, I'm trying to find a spot where it's bright enough to see, but it's not washed out. And I feel like the lights are just too close to the camera, so you can't really see what you're doing. find another hole so I'm gonna do my best to show you guys what's going on here we got it plugged into the phone obviously and one immediate problem was the rigidity of this cable is nice but if you don't have a spare hand to hold your phone as you move the cable around it just moves this other thing but anyway so I'm trying to show you guys the app is called camera fi you can see it has an ad at the top it has a place where you can take pictures. It had a thing where we're going to go down my kitchen sink drain if you haven't figured it out yet. It has a thing where it says you can do videos, but I couldn't figure it out. I tried using my screen capture program and it didn't save the file correctly. It wasn't a problem with the camera, it was the program, but oh, look how gross it is. Look at that. Oh, hang on. It does take a little bit of a learning curve to steer this thing. It's like a bobsled. A really dirty bobsled. So you can see when we're illuminated in this pipe it actually works pretty good I mean other than being disgusting this is gross it's like a colonoscopy I should just break into the middle of the video and tell everyone it's a colonoscopy I cleanse my colon the other problem is once we take a turn like maybe a professional would be better at this they'd figure out how to turn this thing in a legitimate way and one thing I noticed is the ridge on the back of it gets stuck, like, look at this. There we go. So, it's, come on, focus. The ridge on the back right in here, it gets caught on things on the way back. I wish that was a smooth transition from there to there so you wouldn't have something to get hung up on and this thing gets kind of warm but it definitely works pretty good for going in a pipe ew disgusting stuck again come on Come on, get out of the hole. Well, there you go. There's our little demonstration of the endoscope. And I gotta say, in better light situations, the quality of the camera seemed pretty good. When we were in that PVC pipe, which you gotta keep in mind is white, and then we had the LED light shining on it, you could see pretty clear in there but behind the wall where it's really dark and it's all wood that's like absorbing the light, 
Uh, we saw a lot of, I don't even know what you call it, I'm sure there's a word for it, where the light just kind of, I don't know, screwed up the whole picture. Um, I think it's a, it's cheap, so it's not awful. Like, I'd be pissed if I paid $200 for this thing, but I think I paid 12 bucks for it. So I feel like it's a really good value for that. Um, the one thing I'd really be worried about was when this was plugged into my the charge port on my phone, the weight of this cable and everything just put so much downward pressure there, and I've had these damn ports break before. And I had to take apart the entire phone, and it was such an ordeal and a pain in the ass that I never want to have that again. So if you're using this on a phone or a tablet, I would 100% pay attention to you want it you want to put the phone in some way or put something underneath it so that you don't have weight pulling downward on that port because if you damage it, that's just a real pain in the ass. Not awful. We'll try the wireless one next, but I would imagine quality-wise, it's from the same company. It's probably the same camera. They've just added a dongle on it to make it wireless. I didn't try the tools, but what the hell. You'll figure it out. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and I'll see you next time.